Well, I'm going to do a mixture of music and poetry. Um, didn't expect too many miracles. I had a bit of a summer cold, so my voice isn't great like at the moment, <laughs> but I'll give it a go. Sorry, just to break away from the mental health thing for a little bit, I'm going to do uh, one of the comedy pieces. I normally do these in a variety of characters, so I'm going to go with uh, my Welsh character, this one is called Mr. Scrooge. Hello, Fritz. Uh, should I tell you more poet? It's called Mr. Scrooge. Things they seem to escalate when the words are misconstrued. When things are said in innocence that others take as rude. Just the other day I saw my neighbour fill her car with all the junk from round the house for scrapyard or a bar. I haven't seen her headphones with phones worn until it was too late. Removing one to him speaks, I smiled at family gates. Her shock was clear for all she heard, the words had left me sunk. For simply I would love to put my junk into your trunk. Her knee jerked up to meet my groin and then she slapped me silly. In hindsight now I realise she thought I meant my willy. <laughs> I figured I'd apologise, it's not what she'd assumed. My words had been an innocence, but still they left me go. But as I stood, I tripped a third, my foot and lost its rest. Face first to her three rich lawns, my hands had wrapped her breasts. Then slipping down to hips and ass, to steady as I stood. Embarrassed, I apologised, alas, it did no good. Horrified, she grabbed her can of triple strength bare mace, and sprayed and sprayed and sprayed and sprayed it all into my face. And so I started vomiting. My eyes, they burned with tears. Trying to explain to her, it's not how it appears. She kicked and kicked and kicked and kicked, I thought she'd never stop. I'm so thankful someone witnessed it and thought to call the cop. I lay there and got to the bed in hospital and said, you, because my words of innocence were sad, badly misconstrued. Bruised and battered, blurry eyes with morphine kicking in, that seemed to gently ease away the aches and pains within. My balls the size of coconuts, a pain you can't surpass, until they surgically removed the shoe wedged in my ass. I guess the lesson I have learned is what's the words you say. If things begin to escalate, it's time to walk away. Apologize when things calm down, and tempers are less great. Before you're facing this one, the dumb mistakes you made. Thank you very much. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is, uh, don't do covers often, but uh, probably going to know if there are any of those four non-blondes. Uh, what's up? Ooh, Feel for a bit of laugh, you know it, join in. What's up? I know you will come up and join me, generally like this one. Yeah. 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 You know what people say, we haven't rehearsed this, and then it turns out brilliant. Well, that might not be the case. We've, we've done this before, but we, we have not rehearsed um, this time. Yeah. The last time we've had this, I've been very proud of myself. I'm so 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 proud of
Oh, it's time. 
Thank you. 